is Mary Flower again. Today I'd like to show you some junk journals that I made out of tuna helper boxes. And so I'd like to just do some flip throughs on these. Let's start with um let's start with this one. And I put this fun finish on it with um it's with paper crinkled up and I mod podged it or a gel medium. I used this old belt, which I think is really cute on there. Each one has about one, two, three, four, five, five or six signatures. And they're just junk journals. And so let's do a quick flip through on this. These are about, oh, three years old, but uh, I will show you some of the new ones I'm making as well. This one is a little tag, another little tag in here. I love these pretty little um, sacks. Some of this is hand-painted paper. This one is approximately five inches by seven inches. And uh, probably in thickness, it is maybe um, two, two inches thick. Another pocket here. Some more pretty hand-painted watercolor paper. And I've put that hand-painted watercolor paper throughout the whole thing. It makes really nice backgrounds if you want to use it for art. If you want to use it for other kind of journaling, it's still easy to write on with a pen. As you can see, there's going to be plenty of room to do some journaling in this. And some very pretty colors. It's all just basically junk that I've used, but um, I have used some some of the designer paper. Some fun tags. And I put some interesting cards. I love this one. There's some places here to put things. Some more interesting tags. Now this one's sort of simple, but um, has some. But it's uh, really nice and uh, put together nicely. So there you have it. That's the first one. The second one. <clears throat> has this nice little clip here. It has some very pretty colors in it and some nice cards. 
and the same here with a little bit of washi tape and uh, hand colored watercolor paper. A lot of really fun tags. This one I think comes from the top there. The one thing I like about art journals uh, that I have made is because they're much more interesting, um, at least to me, than um, your regular um, journals that you buy online or because they're kind of all the same and these these are one of a kind and they just have more personality a little cup of coffee and this is another uh, one of those see-through pockets which I really like because it's fun to see the fun image behind it and this is a see-through tag which I find very interesting, but you can write on it with a Sharpie. Just a multitude of very interesting cards and papers and and some images out of um, books has a nice little edge here. More little places to put um, interesting pictures or whatever you want to put in there. Another one of those see-through um, pockets. And another one of those very interesting little envelopes with a crayon in it, I find very interesting. A couple of them, here's another one. So this one is filled with plenty of, and I've done the, I've done the, um, cover the same way. If you'll notice, it has a really nice finish on it. It's the second one. This one basically is about flowers. I've used a thing from the, I don't know what you call this, a garter, um, the attachment, I'm not really sure, or just something, I don't know. We used to use these things to hold up nylons when we were young. And each one of these has a pocket. Let me move this up a little. Each one. Now, inside here, I have used these little file papers and I did some jelly plate printing on these. So they're very colorful and pretty. This, this whole thing is quite colorful and a lot of flowers in this. So every, every page is a pocket with a really bright, pretty piece of filing card and um, with a flower on it. See, every single one. Some more. So that's what's unique about this particular book is every single page is a pocket.
So this one has a lot of possibilities. And even though some of it has pockets here on the front, every single one has a place in the side that has some of these pretty jelly print, jelly print um, papers. And that is the third one, and this is one of my favorite ones be really wonderful for a garden book or just woodland with fairies or something like that. And then my last one is a sewing. It has a lot of vintage sewing in it. And let me show you the side here. If you can see, there's some old buttons with a little tiny pair of scissors there that has um, served as uh, a way to, when I bound it, I put them right in that. This is sort of reds and grays, and it has a beautiful finish on it. The same kind of clasp will hold this one together, only it's pink. And we'll go through this one. This one's sort of fun. Everything in here has to do with sewing. And I've used a lot of vintage papers. And this one is just packed full of really interesting things in this one. Let's see, it might just be in there. I can't remember how this one... I love these little paper clips. If I can get it back on there. I think what I did was I glued that right in there so that you can write right over the top if you would like. Another hanger paper clip, really cute. I don't know if you can see these, very pretty. I used, um, right, oh, right here is a um, pattern that I put some really nice edging on, and a lot of scissors in here. Um, this goes over here, and fun tags in that. This one is, I think this is from like an old record or something, but it looks really cute. So there's a little tag in there if I can reach in. <coughs> Another pair of scissors here. Some fun tags. There's a little needle right here. Some vintage um, patterns. And some papers from an old sewing machine, which I find very interesting. I love the colors in them. See if you can see that. Let me pull these out. A lot of really fun uh, tags with this. This one is filled. Now this does open here. And these are little scissors in here, different kind of old-fashioned scissors. 
which I remember using myself. And this is in a vintage Valentine that I was a little ice cream that she was eating, and I filled it with these buttons like it's part of the ice cream. This one's fun. This is a tiny miniature. Well, it's actually, it actually was an ATC, and I there's a little vintage um, pattern on the front that has been made small miniature, and this little ATC, and it says, my husband said, if you buy any more fabric, I will leave you. I will miss him. And it has my um, ATC signature on the back. And it goes in this cute little pattern uh, package here. Another vintage pattern there. Some more little funny scissors. And as you can see, it's filled with a lot of fun things. And that's it. So these are the four books that I made out of Tuna Helper um, boxes. And I like the way they turned out. So if you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.